girls, my name is Tusamamba and welcome to the first of many South African sneaker reviews that I'm going to be doing on my channel. Today we're looking at the New Balance 550 which is brought to you by Archive Store. So let's get into it. Originally a basketball shoe, the New Balance 550 is now a lifestyle shoe and it was designed by the legendary um, Stephen Smith and if you don't know who he is and why he's a legend, just think of all your favorite dad shoes. The 574, the 997, the 1500, the Nike Spirit, and the Reebok Insta Pump Fury, and most recently and noticeably, the Yeezy Boost 700. Yeah, that's him. Um, everyone knows and loves Tinker Hatfield and knows him for the work that he's done for Nike and Ed Jordan, but many people don't know Stephen Smith, who is pretty much in the same league but did it for multiple brands many of smith's creations were just simply too ahead for their release time and they just got lost in the archives that's why streetwear powerhouses like stussy supreme love adapting smith's products and you know re-releasing them because the time is now in terms of this specific shoe is a general release basketball retro um it comes in your standard gray New Balance box, nothing too fancy as you can see over here. Materials wise, this is a low top silhouette, obviously, constructed from premium smooth and perforated leather uppers. Um, it's got a premium breathable mesh on the inside, um, a rubber midsole, and the archive release came in a choice of red and black and this green and black colorway. So expect the same kind of good, you know, cushion that you get from New Balance sneakers, um, unlike the popular made in USA and Great Britain models that New Balance is known for, these are made in China. So, I mean, they retail for 2399 so don't expect a crazy quality on a beer budget. Uh, for me, my favorite detail on this specific pair is the basketball detail on the tongue, if you can see over there. It's a nice old school type of touch and it's amazing how much basketball has given us in terms of street fashion. Um, these fit true to size and are quite comfortable. And if you're a flat footed basketball silhouette loving sneaker wearer like me, you'll feel right at home. For me, those kind of kicks have always been more comfortable than running shoes. So if the shoe came out in 1989, why didn't it pick up traction before? Well, for starters, there are, you know, there were some of the most iconic shoes that dropped at the same time. Um, like the MX1s, the Air Jordan 4s. So the shoe kind of just went into the New Balance archives until Teddy Santis from Emilion, um, you know, decided to bring it back for collaboration. Um, that's when the hype started loading up. So remember when Ronnie Feig went through the ASICS archives and broke through and brought the Jarlite series back to life? with his amazing colorways, attention to detail, storytelling, premium materials. Amy Leon pretty much did the exact same thing for the 550 and a few other New Balance classics. The current oversized clothes and thrift, you know, dad look from the 80s, pretty much had the market primed and ready for um, cultural sneakers from the same era. And when Amy Leon dropped the 550s with their off-white leather and yellow midsole aged kind of look, it was an instant hit and you know it wasn't a surprise that all your favorite instagram and tiktok influencers didn't waste time in driving up the hype and um in sa having been starved of the collab it was no surprise that the sneak community was just sent into a frenzy last week when the drop was announced and ultimately you know released and with the hype frenzy comes a lot of owls and people being upset with the drop numbers um but the South African sneaker community has grown leaps and bounds in the last six years. The only problem is that the consumer's core focus has been on collab and limited edition retros, which they see on their favorite cele celebrities, understandably. So when we see a hype generally silhouette and shoe, it brings hope, you know, because once we start eating up the general releases, that's when the powers that be, wink wink, will start, you know, allocating more product and making sure we don't miss collaborations like the original Amy Leon 550 
And, you know, to all the ladies that feel like they've missed out, um, stay tuned because Archive has a woman's size curve in the pipeline for you guys. So you heard it here first. So, copper drop. I think it's a definite cop. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace out.